Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. K Renee here with K Renee Knows. And y'all, I know it has been a long time. But I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, so bear with me. Well, I decided to jump on today and do this quick and easy every day. No brushes or tools necessary. Fingers only makeup look. So let's get right into it if you want to know how i achieve this rosy glowy look then keep watching okay so i am already moisturized i'm already cleansed and moisturized so the first step that i do is to go in with bronzer and blush from this elf bronzed peach palette looks like this and this is what the cream colors look like the reason i like cream products for this type of look is because they are easy to work with they are blendable and buildable and they are very lightweight so it really doesn't feel like you have on makeup either which is always an added bonus So I just add this to the places on my face where um, I would naturally have shadows and the sun would warm up my face and around the perimeters can sort of act as like a baby contour as well. And then I go in with the blush basically right over where I put that um, right on top a little above where I put the bronzer and I like to go up into my hairline to simulate that natural flush. And it's funny because I'm pregnant and a lot of people when they see me, they're like, oh my gosh, you're gorgeous, you're, you are glowing. And I'm like, I probably am because I'm pregnant and I'm a natural blusher, but also I have these makeup tips and tricks up my sleeve that I use as well. So that's enhancing the pregnancy glow, I think. So that's that. I've been really enjoying a good rosy cheek blush lately. So the next step is a highlight. And for that, I use this Max Makeup Cherimoya. Um, medium highlight cream stick. I use the lighter side and I just go into the places where make where light would naturally hit my face. So the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, um, cheekbone, top of my cheekbones, temples, eyebrow, um, eyebrow bones, brow bones, uh, cupid's bow, and chin. I just blend that out and this is going to give you just a really glowy natural glowy look do you hear my husband laughing in the other room I don't know what he's laughing at but this is where the light would naturally bounce off of your face anyway so you're just amping that up a little bit to enhance that natural look. Oh, I forgot the inner corner of my eye as well. And then, and you don't have to be super precise with this. It really is quick and easy. So then I go in and do my brow. And for this, I just brush my brows up with a spoolie. And then I use this Essence Brow Designer Pencil in just brown. And I'm not creating a new shape for my eyebrows. I'm just filling in my natural shape. The natural shape of my eyebrows. And I like to have a darker um, tail so I'll fill in there more than anywhere else on my brows and 
just try to get them nice and full but keep it nat natural looking uh oh just drew on top of my brow like that and then brush them like so and bam your brows are done quick and easy in real time like that so next up is shadow for most days i mean i have a few different shadows that i use but most days i'll use this teeny beauty fire starter eyeshadow it looks like this the logo is completely wiped off but it's this beautiful sort of coppery metallic -y, deep rose color and I just put that all over my lid with my ring finger. Use your ring finger around your eyes because your skin there is very delicate and your ring finger has the least amount of pressure um, of any of your fingers. So I just put that all over the lid and sort of up into the crease and I like this one because it is almost like using a cream shadow. It is very blendable, easy to use. It gives you beautiful color and the color payoff is wonderful, especially for me with my beautiful brown skin. You know, you gotta find shadows that really pop. And this is, you know, without any primer or anything. So it's very nice. So that's what I do for shadow. And then I go in with my eyeliner, which is the L'Oreal 16 hour infallible never fail eyeliner in black. Looks like this. And it has this lovely, like it's almost like a gel liner. And then it has this little like um, smudge rubber on the other end so I tight line my eyes and tight lining is just lining inside your waterline um, but you can line however you like I like this way because even if you don't do a line on top of your lashes um, this will add definition and it will make your eyelashes look uh, fuller but also I'll do a thin line right on top of my lashes, my lash line like that. And you can leave it at that or you can smudge it out a little bit, which is what I usually do. And you could do this with your finger um, or if your liner has this type of smudger on it you can you use that or you can use both which is what I use to just smoke it out a little bit in that outer third of your eye and add a little more dimension there a little more drama and that's it for the eyeshadow and eyeliner and then I prime my eyelashes um, and this is just because I'm extra when it comes to my eyelashes. And I don't use falsies. So, um, yeah, I like to play it up. So this is the Voluminous Base from L'Oreal. This is their eyelash primer. So I do that first on my upper lashes. And then, oops. I just got some on my eye, on my contact. That's always great. Uh, look like it's foggy. And then um, while that's drying, I'll do my lips. I line with this um, LA Colors uh, lip liner pencil in chocolate. And as you can see, it is coming to an end. I'm gonna have to get another one. 
but I just do a line inside my lips because my lips are nice and big and voluptuous. Excuse me, so this adds definition and dimension. And then for color, I'm going to use this e.l.f. lip crayon in a dash of pink. looks like this. Um, it has the crayon on one end and a sharpener on the other. And y'all, it took me a long time to realize that a lot of e.l.f. elf products have like lip products have either like the sharpener on the other end or like their lipsticks will have a gloss on the other end mind blown i was like this whole time there was a matching gloss who knew apparently other people knew i just didn't know i'm like yes elf it's already cheap like it's a few dollars max for the products and then they're adding value to it over top that i usually use a a gloss today I'm using the Mary Kay nourish shine plus lip gloss looks like this and it's just for a little shine and sparkle cuz I like a little shine and sparkle just a little that's it for the lips and we're gonna finish the eyes so this week i have been using the voluminous superstar x fiber mascara it has a primer on one end and the mascara on the other end and the mascara has um, fibers in it to add volume so i'm all about that i was like oh i'll try it so i'm gonna prime first this primer is black which is nice because it can work double duty for me I've just been using it on my lower lashes um, instead of the mascara with the fibers in it because while I am extra I'm not that extra I don't need to put the fiber mascara on my lower lashes that's just even I have limits guys come on I try not to go too crazy on the lower lashes but I mean I do like drama in the lash department. I cannot tell a tale. And then I will go in with the mascara on the top lashes with the fibers and whatnot. I've been liking it so far. I think it does a pretty good job. My lashes have been looking pretty full. What more can a girl ask? I like to have good length too. Um, and this does okay. I wish I had just super long eyelashes. Well, not too long, y'all. I saw this girl today and she had lash, lash extensions. And one, I knew they were extensions because they were just, they looked like fans on her eyes. But also, she was on the phone and she was talking about how she has a lash appointment in the morning. Y'all, it's just sometimes, sometimes it's too much. It's just too much for every day. Like, if you look like you literally have a church fan on your eyelashes, consider toning it back a little bit unless you're going to like a show and by going to I mean acting in if you're on stage and you need to look like this then do your thing make your money but otherwise it's just, sometimes it's just too much so anyway this is the finished look, guy. Looked. The finished look, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you try it, make sure you tag me in the pictures if you post them. If you like this, please comment below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. It would make me so happy. Join the community. 
we would love to have you. Anyway, until next time. Bye-bye.